Starting red. a small business is worse than putting your life savings on red and a game of roulette hoping to double up. The odds are stacked up against you as 60% of you making the jump will fail within three years of launch and you'll end up throwing a big chunk of cash in the bin in the process. But like millions of others, you shouldn't let statistics get in your way so you can quit your boring old job, become your own boss and live the life you deserve. Just like me. And for that, I salute you. Mm. The thing is, you probably don't know where to start, don't want to wait forever and don't want to put your house on the line. Well, I got you covered. To help even out the odds in your favor, I'm going to reveal the system I used to launch a random business from scratch from the comfort of my home using nothing but SEO and with less than $100. So you can do the same and become your own boss faster than an ice cream melting on a hot summer day. You won't even need to give up your day job. You can do this during your spare time as a side hustle to start with. This way, you can mess up a bit before quitting your day job and giving up your main paycheck. In today's video, you'll find out what kind of small business you can get off the ground using my method, how to get rolling with less than $100 in your pocket, the step-by-step -step SEO strategy I used to get the fastest possible results, and how long it took to get my first client. But first, you might be wondering why you should bother with SEO when you could just use Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and the like to kickstart a business. After all, every year we hear that SEO is dead and with billions of people scrolling through social media, it seems like a no brainer to start there to grab people's attention, right? Here's the thing though. Nowadays, these platforms aren't exactly keen on promoting your business for free. Only about 2% of your Facebook and Instagram followers will see your posts. And if you've got zero followers, well, nobody's going to see them at all. That's because these platforms are all about getting you to spend money on ads to line their pockets. So if you have no budget for ads, then it's pretty much a dead end. To even stand a chance of getting noticed on social media, the amount of content you need to churn out is insane. Your posts get buried quicker than you can say like and subscribe under an avalanche of content from millions of others. Plus, in 2024, just posting text and pictures doesn't cut it anymore. You've got to dive into video making. So if you're camera shy or don't have the gear for it, you might as well forget it. That's why SEO is still the most effective and budget-friendly way to kickstart your business. But let's be real, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. If you're thinking of becoming the next eBay or Amazon with SEO, dream on. That ship has sailed. So what kind of business will this method work for? Well, a small one, at least to start with. More specifically, a local business that deals with clients face to face, which is 99% of businesses out there. So if you're thinking of setting up your own business as an accountant, a personal trainer, a web designer, a life coach, a plumber, a landscape gardener, a photographer, an interior designer, a house cleaner, a nail technician, a car detailing specialist, a handyman, a wedding planner. Okay, that's enough. You get the idea. This system works pretty much for any type of business as long as you deal with customers in person. Although not required, ideally you want to start something in which you already have some sort of knowledge or expertise so you can be operational as soon as possible and deal with your first clients ASAP. But I really wanted to put my theory to the test. So I decided to launch a business I had no idea about and ended up launching a dog walking and sitting service. And this little fellow right here helped me a ton. I wasn't lying when I told you it was a random business. And guess what? Setting up this whole business cost me less than a hundred bucks. So how is that possible? Well, when setting up a small business in countries like the US or the UK, you got two main choices. The first one is to go down the limited company route. This means dealing with setup fees, opening a business bank account. Yep, that costs money too. And you'll probably need an accountant to help you out as well. These expenses can add up pretty quickly. Or you could opt to be what's known as a sole trader or self-proprietor. Basically, this means you're running the show on your own as a self-employed person who owns the business. And the cool part? 
setting up as a sole trader doesn't cost you a dime. So where did I actually spend my money? Since I was banking on SEO to get my business out there, the one essential I needed was a website. And sure, a quick Google search for free website throws up tons of options for setting one up without spending a penny. But why shell out cash for a website then? Well, there are loads of reasons, but mainly because free websites tend to be slow, not great for SEO, packed with ads, and you can't pick your own domain name, which looks very unprofessional. If you're serious about your business, spending a bit of cash to look professional is worth it. You got loads of choices out there for web hosting and design, and it pays to shop around for what suits your needs best. To minimize costs, I decided to design the website myself and host it on a platform known for being solid, reliable, and fast. After some research, I went with SiteGround.com, which is often ranked in the top three hosting services worldwide, but doesn't break the bank. They regularly offer huge discounts, and you could get your domain name and a year's hosting for as little as $40. If you're not confident in your web design skills, you might consider using a service like Wix, where you can drag and drop your way to a professional looking site using their pre-made templates. It will cost a bit more, but it's worth the investment and will save you a huge amount of time in the process. But a website alone wasn't going to be enough and was only one piece of my SEO strategy. If I wanted to attract clients fast, I needed to do more. Next, I'm going to break down the exact SEO process I followed step by step so you can replicate it and get similar results. Step number one, do some keyword research. Start by doing some basic keyword research to see what people are searching for online. Doing this first helps you figure out what kind of content you'll need to create so it lines up with what people want. For me, it was pretty easy since my business was going to offer two main services, dog walking and dog sitting. But if you're not sure which keywords fit your business, set up a free Google Ads account and use the Keyword Planner tool. It's one of the top tools out there for this kind of thing. Step number two, choose a strategic business name. This is a central piece of your SEO game plan. Choose a name that includes the main service you offer and the location where you're offering it. Don't go mad when picking the location. It must be where your business address is located and if you live in a big city, don't pick the entire city. Since the main service of my business is dog walking and I am based in a London neighborhood called Chiswick, I chose dog walker Chiswick. But you should also include a unique identifier in your name as it will be easier for people to find you on Google when they search for your business name. For example, I probably should have picked something like Chiswick Dog Walker Squad instead of a more generic Dog Walker Chiswick, which may end up showing my competitors' businesses instead of mine when someone is searching for a dog walker in my area. Your business name plays a huge role in how well your business does in Google search results, so you must pick it carefully. Register your business. Just like I suggested earlier, setting up your business as a sole proprietor or sole trader instead of a limited company is a much better choice to keep your cost as low as possible. But there's a catch. When you do, your legal name automatically gets to be your business name. So if your name is John Smith, that's what your business is going to be called. And honestly, that doesn't quite work for our strategy. Here is how to work around this problem. If you're in the US, you can register a doing business as name, also known as DBA. When you do, you can run your business under the name of your choice instead of just your personal name. The cost for registering a DBA isn't much. It starts at around $10 and will vary slightly on the state or county you live in. Over in the UK, it's pretty much the same deal. You can easily register a trading name online with Companies House for just £12. These procedures and costs will be different in your country of residence, so make sure you check first before you go ahead. All right, let's move on to the next step. Create some basic visual content. Next up, you need to make some simple content to show off your business online. Don't worry, it's not as hard as it sounds. Basically, you just need to take a few pictures that show what your business does. I know what you might be thinking, how can I take pictures of a business that hasn't even started. Well, it's time to think outside of the box. For example, when I decided to start a dog walking business, I took my own dog, borrowed one of the neighbor's dog, we went for a walk, I asked my girlfriend to take pictures of us, and within an hour, I had tons of snapshots to work with. 
I told you you helped a ton. You'll also need to make a logo. This is super easy as well. There are loads of free logo makers available online. I used Canva for mine and it was done in minutes. Once you've got a few pictures and your logo, you can move on to the next step. Claim a Google business profile. It's time to let everyone know about your business. Just go to google.com slash business and claim a free Google business profile. This way people can find you on Google Maps and when they search on Google. When you set up your profile, add as much information as you can to it. Put in your logo, add the pictures you took in the previous step, your opening hours, your phone number and so on. I strongly recommend you get a separate phone just for your business. It doesn't have to be an expensive one. For my dog walking business, I bought the cheapest phone I could find. I chose a pay-as-you-go plan so I don't have a contract and I can get calls from prospective clients without it costing me anything. I spent a total of £13.50 on a phone and a SIM card. Once you've claimed your listing, Google will need to verify it before showing it in its search results. This can take a few days, so don't worry if you don't see it right away. After you've done this, you're ready for the next step. Build your website. Now it's time to get your website up and running. Don't worry, this doesn't have to take a long time. It depends on how good you are at designing and if you're going to use a ready-made template from a site like Wix or if you're starting from scratch on your own. No matter which route you take, here are some key points you need to keep in mind. First, when you're choosing the domain name for your website, try to make it the same as your business name. Then make sure the title and the main heading on your homepage include the exact service you offer and the location where you offer it, very similar to your business name. Remember the keyword research you did earlier? Use that to make separate pages for each service you provide. For example, in my case, I was offering dog sitting, so I made a page specifically for dog sitting. Once you've built your website, add a link to it in your Google Business Profile as it is important to link the two together. Then you're ready to move on to the next thing. Make some noise. Since your business is brand new, it's time to let the world know about it at every chance you get. Make sure you list your business on all the big social directories and map services like Bing Places, Apple Maps, Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Nextdoor and so on. And don't forget to set up pages for it on social media sites. This not only gets your name out there, but also helps Google trust your business more. Stick to all the steps I've just gone through and you'll be getting your first client before you know it. But how quick are we talking? Well, after having my website and Google business profile out there for a few months, they're both killing it. Search for a dog walker in my area and boom, my business pops up top on Google Maps and the regular search results. Only three weeks after I launched, I got my first call from someone wanting me to walk their dog. And from there, emails and calls started to come through thick and fast. I might even have to stop Ranking Academy just to walk dogs full time and maybe start a dog walking empire instead. And it all started with less than a hundred bucks. For more information and if you're serious about launching your own business, check out my 60 minute workshop right here. It's packed with all the SEO tips you need to know so you can skyrocket your business to the top. And until next time, happy marketing.